What's up everyone, your friendly neighborhood Wanziga here, back with the fifth card review for the latest expansion, Voyage to the Sunken City. And today we've got a very, very broken card, in my opinion. Um, this card could definitely push what is already a powerful deck, a powerful archetype, right to S tier if played well and also depending on what new supporting cards we do get for that deck. So without further ado, let's get into that. So the first card for today is a 4 mana 3-6 neutral minion, excavation specialist, battle cry, dredge, reduce its cost by 1. So pretty good base stats for a 4 mana minion, um, got the new, you know, Battle cry with dredge, you know, getting one of the cards from the bottom of your deck and reducing its cost by one. So, um, if you are playing a deck that is going to make use of dredge quite often, um, or shuffling cards to adding cards to the bottom of your deck, definitely see this getting some play. Again, got decent stats, nice high health, um, and again, reducing that cost by cards cost by one. So, especially if you have put a number of colossal minions at the bottom of your deck, um, reducing that cost by one can be pretty major. Um, could even get you to play that card on your next turn. If you're drawing, if you've got a card draw in your hand and you know you could end up playing the card on the same turn. So this could actually provide quite a big swing in the game. So definitely from the dredge cards we've seen so far, um, I think this is a pretty good one and we'll probably see some play, uh, maybe not a lot, but definitely some play in dredge based decks. Next up, we have a one mana spell for um, Demon Hunter, multi-strike, give your hero a plus to attack this turn. They may attack an additional enemy minion. So you can go face for two, and a minion for two, um, even just having two attack for uh, one mana is pretty great. Um, also being a fell spell, this can definitely filter into playing something like Jace later on. Um, and you know, with its additional effects, if you've got other, you play Jace later on and you stacked up an additional or even more hero damage, um, this could help you clear boards. It could help you gain a lot of life if you've got a lifesteal weapon equipped. You know, it has a lot of uses and I definitely see this as a pretty powerful card. Um, you don't have to obviously go uh, and attack the enemy face and a minion, you can attack two minions. Um, all depends on what the situation is, but I definitely see multi-strike getting played um, in Fell Demon Hunter decks especially. Next up we have a Piranha Poacher, a 3 mana 2-5 Murloc for Shaman. At the end of your turn, add a 1-1 one, one Piranha Swarmer to your hand. Um, the reason I have not put Piranha Swarmer up here um, is it because it is uh, an actual minion on its own that has its own effects, etc. So we'll have a look at that in a moment. Um, so, okay, stats for that. Um, Again, with Murlocs, you are going to have the low stated things. Um, this is pretty high health for a Murloc, though. Um, and adding a 1 1 Piranha Swarmer to your hand, um, you'll have a look and see what the Piranha Swarmers do in a moment. Um, and it could be kind of a, again, a board swing um, if you are playing traditionally. Uh, the way Murloc Shamans play is you get onto board fast, you hit fast, you try and end the game quickly. So will these Piranha Swarmers have enough, uh, say, push power to do that? Maybe not, um, but they can help clear boards uh, quite nicely if you do have a number of them in hand. That said, here we go. We have the Piranha Swarmer, a one mana, one one beast with rush. After you summon a Piranha Swarmer, gain one attack. So again, if you've got a number of these in hand, you play a lot of them out in one turn, you can get some pretty decent board clear potential. Um, there are some other ways that this can be used, uh, We can, which we'll see a little bit later on. Um, 
possibly in another one of the videos um, where having a bunch of one ones on board a bunch of cheap minions in your hand that you can play onto board can definitely um, can definitely swing a game let me just say that can definitely swing a game in your favor so but um, just looking at this base stats it is pretty cool um, but I don't think it's going to get to see a lot of play in conjunction with uh, the Murloc we just saw then we have Scalding Geyser or Geyser, wherever you're from and how you want to pronounce it. Uh, it's a one minute spell for Shaman, deal two damage, dredge. So one mana, deal two damage and dredge. It's also uh, got its own type, fire type as well. So this is just a straight up one mana, deal two damage. If it was just that, that's still pretty cool. I mean, Hunter runs those kind of spells, um, most classes run those kind of spells and if you're looking at what is popular now with burn shaman this is pretty cool um, especially if you've got some other things playing into your build some other dredge uh, cards or cards that have added other cards to the bottom of your deck um, that you know you're going to draw into um, and you play something like multicaster after this and you get whatever you had at the bottom of your deck into your hand quite cheaply um, this can definitely see a lot of play i do think it will see a lot of play especially if burn shaman um keeps going the way that it has and keeps uh, as strong of an archetype as it's been uh, over the last uh, month or so this would definitely be a decent inclusion into that and just a all-round good card in my opinion Next up, we have a two mana, two, two mech for Paladin, Seafloor Savior, Battlecry Dredge. If it's a minion, give it this minion's attack and health. So it doesn't say swap, it says give it. So um, in my, the way of my thinking is it will add to it. Um, again, if you're playing a minion base deck and you know that there's a minion at the bottom of your deck, if you've added it, by one of the other cards battle cries you've added something to the bottom of your deck you pretty much are going to know that um, it's going to be added to that uh, again this is a very situational card um, and adding two two stats to another minion is not that great it's not that much of a swing or a real break point at all however if this has to have been buffed in hand by something um, and then you're adding those stats to it you know we can then start talking about what might become more powerful so again this is go kind of going into a buff paladin build um, but more of a hand buff than a board buff as we've seen with a lot of the holy spells coming in so if ha hand buff paladin you know there is an archetype for that this can find a place there will it uh, again nothing is certain really with the rotation of the core set and what's going to come back in um, but as it sits now i don't think this card will see much play next up we have a three mana spell for uh, priest switcheroo draw two minions swap their stats again doesn't sound that great um, however if you've built your deck in a certain way um, and you have lower cost minions that do have high stats um, then this definitely can work um, from what i've seen from some of the other cards there are some situations where this will work we have lower cost cards then switching stats with higher cost cards um, and the higher cost cards you would have in your deck more so for their effects than their actual stats so this can work really well um, again if you're playing something like a miracle priest and you just end up playing another spell you're drawing two minions swapping the stats but then you're, de you're decreasing the cost of those cards uh, that way so again pretty decent um, overall however um, because it's just two random minions um, I don't think this will see much play as there are some more powerful card draw cards out there or minion draw cards out there and last up for today we have the big one 
a two mana two three naga four hunter naj nazjan after you cast a spell deal damage equal to its cost to the enemy hero now that already seems extremely powerful because a lot of hunter spells or can already deal face damage on their own they aren't generally very expensive spells but they can deal damage on their own um, this coupled with the um, hunter quest at the moment where you know when you cast a spell it refreshes you know you need to deal damage to get that that quest going can this find a place in that deck I definitely think so. We do already see builds that have minions in that deck. Um, and uh, especially the way the deck is built now, if you're playing certain minions to get some extra damage in, this can be a game finisher because you can play a lot of cheap spells next to this, refreshing your hero power, doing additional damage, as well as dealing that mana cost damage to the enemy hero. So. Um, even though this card is a low cost card, I think this would be played more towards mid to end game to try and finish off your opponent. Or just if you can only deal with they've got a big board, you can deal with their board while still deal, dealing damage to their face with this. So definitely see this as an extremely powerful card to be added to Hunter, especially with Quest Hunter. Um, and if built and played right that could take quest hunter from where it really is now at kind of a tier two two tier one deck um straight to the top yeah so that's uh, all we have for this session of card reviews thank you again for stopping by if you enjoyed the video please give it a like uh comment your opinions on whether naj over here will pretty much break hunter and um break the game a little bit uh, and we will see even more kind of face hunters coming up even new archetype of spell face hunter uh, if some more cards come along that deal damage directly to face but yeah um, i wish you all a good morning good evening and good afternoon wherever you're watching this from and i'll see you guys again soon bye for now